In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Gospel of April the 13th, 2018. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Today I have no question to ponder, but rather a statement, an affirmation. In the hands of Jesus, that which is small is enough for everyone. Let us read the Gospel. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good is that for too many? Jesus said, Have the people reclined? Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the, of the fish as they wanted. When they had been when they had their fill, he said to the disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So he collect so they collect them they collected them and filled twelve wicker ba baskets with fragments from the fire, five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that he, they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, again, as I was saying, in the hands of Jesus, that which is small, which seems to be insufficient, is far than enough. It is here the question, what good are these for so many? That truly is the feeling that we, who have answered the vocation, the calling of our Lord, feel so many times. I myself feel it every day. Whenever I am facing a liturgy or whatever kind of liturgy or the need to, to talk, even, even right now, I always think, my Lord, what am I going to give? I don't have enough. And I say it truly. Even though I am not a youngster, even though I had all the priestly studies that I had that I needed to have in the seminary, even though I study every day, I feel so inadequate and so small, truly. But then I know that if I give myself to the hands of the Lord, even my shortness even my, my small self is enough for you, is enough for everyone. Not because I can do it, but because in the hands of the Lord, everything is changed. So don't think by any mean or any chance or any time that you're not good enough for the Lord. If you are small, if you, have, if you feel the calling of the Lord, give yourself to Him. Don't be afraid. Just imagine what this young man thought when they asked him, give up the five barley loaves and the two fishes. He might have thought, he could have thought, then what am I going to eat? If I give them up, there are going to be nothing for the others, and there will be nothing for me either. But that's not true. We saw how the Lord, having what we have, 
multiplies it and makes it quite enough so that it will be not only enough but more than enough. And that is applicable not only to us who have been ordained but also to everyone who would present himself freely as a gift to God. And then I am talking to you, dear mother of many. I'm talking to you, dear father of many. I'm talking to you, dear brother, small sister, who thinks that you're not good enough, that you're not enough. Yes, you are. Just put yourself in the hands of the Lord, and then He will make us great. He will make us not great in terms of the world, but enough to satisfy the hunger of our brothers which is more than enough. Are we capable, are we daring to put ourselves in the hands of the Lord? That is the question. Let us answer to this calling by saying, Lord, please help me, give me courage, make me intrepid, that I may follow your path, that I may serve you always. Make me love you, command me to serve you. May the Lord be with you, and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.